Evelyn Taft. Evelyn? That's right. We're looking at rain and snow, but things are starting to dwindle down compared to where we were just earlier this evening. So we are getting a look outside right now at Santa Monica. We're looking at a bit of cloud cover and a bit of clearing as well, and that's going to continue to be the case over the next few hours. So let's get a look at radar right here. You'll see a little bit of snow right there. In fact, a lot of snow over our mountains right now and several winter storm warnings still in effect. We're expecting maybe over a foot of snow around some of our resort levels out of some of our resorts. That's great news for you. You'll see uh, Palm Springs starting to get hit a little bit. We've got Coachella coming up this weekend, but we do look uh, we are looking at much drier weekend as we head toward the next couple of days. So of course, we'll have that extended forecast coming up for you in a little bit as we take you through the grapevine right there. Very windy and we are looking at a little bit of rain snow mix as you make your way down the five and eventually clearer conditions for you. A closer look at radar right here. You'll see the 15 and the 215 right there. Well, we're still dealing with rain and snow around the area as well, and we're going to continue to see that into the overnight hours. So we're going to continue to track this for you. And of course, we're going to have the rest of your weekend forecast coming up in just a bit. Lena, back to you. All right. Well, we have nothing compared to that, but I yep. will say I had quite a show at my house. Lots of thunder, yeah. lots of lightning, lots of wind. Yeah. I mean, it was yeah. it was With a real a storm. Yeah, yeah. it is a real storm, you know, and of course it pales in comparison to what we were just talking about tornado wise, mm -hmm. but we did see a tornado or at rotation uh -huh. of our own, a shall rotation. we say. <laughs> so there was rotation uh, right there on radar. So it was technically looked like it could have been a tornado. Oh, we, we saw a water spout or the, the thing down we in the We saw a water spout. Yeah, th 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 yeah, yeah, that thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that thing. Yeah, so we saw, uh, we've got uh, photos of uh, to prove uh, that we did see the, the water spouts. And also there was a potential, again, it looked like a funnel cloud, possibly. Uh, what happened earlier today, right around where that water spout was, uh, looked like there's a little bit of rotation on radar. There's a severe thunderstorm warning that was issued for San Diego County uh, from the San Diego County Weather Service Office, actually, and it was over Orange County. And again, it looked like we saw a little bit of rotation within a cell, which usually indicates a tornado. So no confirmation that anything touched down, but it did look to at least take the shape and the form of maybe a tornado before it actually became one touchdown. So speaking of tornadoes, let's take you back. Uh, you'll see right here to Oklahoma to Kansas as well. We're looking at several tornado watches, severe thunderstorm watches and warnings in the area as well. And again, we're still watching this over the next couple of days here at home. Again, nothing quite like that, even though we did see funnel cloud and we did see a little mini possible tornado of our own, but we are still tracking well, rain, snow, and earlier today we did get our share of severe weather. We saw thunder, lightning. We also saw hail out there as well. Take a look right here through the grapevine. Well, things are clearing out, but over Kern County, we're still dealing with some rain and snow that could possibly drop through. Well, through the grapevine to LA County into the overnight hours. You're going to see snow in the forecast right there over our local mountains, over the San Bernardino County Mountains, Riverside County Mountains, LA County Mountains getting a dusting as well at this point. Over the, well, 210 and the 15 there, we are still dealing with a little bit of rain snow mix, a little bit of rain in the forecast as we speak, and we're taking you up the five. Take a look right here at the Kern County line. We are dealing with some snow, and again, that could potentially drop through the northern slopes into the overnight hours. So we're not ruling out the chance of snow overnight or into the early morning hours. With that, we're still looking at a winter storm warning. Of course, it is spring, but technically it is called a winter storm warning. Feels like winter out there. Several wind advisories still in store and high wind uh, warnings rather in store as well. So still windy out there, still cool. Through the grapevine, we're in the 30s as we take you to the high desert. We're in the 40s, big pines, 35. So these are our coolest spots where we have been witnessing some snow. The Lucerne Valley right there, 36 degrees this evening. And at the coast, a little more mild. We're in the 50s, 53 in Malibu and 54 in San Pedro. Wind wise, very impressive. 27 mile an hour sustained wind speeds right there through the grapevine in Gorman. Palmdale at 16 miles an hour in San Pedro, gusting at a sustained 28 miles an hour. And well, rainfall total wise, just from today, not too shabby. Over an inch in Northridge, San Gabriel, just under an inch. Palmdale just under half an inch in Long Beach. Oh, you did pretty good just under half an inch as well and over half an inch in Orange County and Santa Ana downtown. Well, why are you uh, singled out there? Well, 
actually saw record rainfall in downtown earlier today, less than half an inch, but again, coming close. So pretty impressive, especially for this time of year, all things considered. Anaheim, you're looking at, well, over three quarters of an inch, did pretty well there, over an inch for Redondo. And Ontario, just over half an inch, saw a pretty severe cell pass over Ontario earlier today. And with that, got a decent amount of rainfall. And again, this is just for today, so pretty impressive considering, again, that was just less than 24 hours ago. We start to see that rain leftover showers and snow for tonight as we head into tomorrow. We're expecting to maybe see a leftover snow flurry, but for the most part, we're done with the rain tomorrow. We're calling it partly cloudy. Remember, as we mentioned, rain totals up to two inches in some spots in the mountains and the foothills, maybe even three inches and finally getting a look at snow totals right there. Expecting over a foot around resort level and snow levels dropping to 3500 feet, maybe even 3000 tonight. So we're going to have more on the snow and of course your extended forecast for the weekend coming up in just a little bit. Back to you. Oh, you're talking about little birdie. <laughs> yes, I may be the little birdie. There were, there's a few of us <laughs> yeah. but right now. We got I'm a bunch little of them here actually, don't we? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, but yes, we are expecting uh, what Mike just said. And if you missed what he said, well, we're expecting changes for the weekend. So we're expecting drier conditions and warmer conditions. We've got a lot going on this weekend, so it's pretty important. We've got the uh, Grand Prix, the Long Beach Grand Prix. We also have Coachella going on this weekend as well. So things are clearing out just in time. So we're looking at clearer conditions out there tonight. We're still looking at leftover showers and leftover snow showers as well as we speak. But as we head into tomorrow, maybe just a few leftover snow flurries. And for the most part, we're drying out, calling it partly cloudy. Rain totals, well, we've already gotten around an inch plus in some of our lower elevations and still working on it. There's still a little bit of moisture left. And you're going to see for the mountains and the foothills, one to three inches of rain. Snow totals, still working on those totals. We're still looking at snow out there. So in the meantime, we're looking at maybe over a foot of snow once everything is said and done. Uh, and that's going to be around resort level. Snow levels falling to about 3,500 feet, possibly even 3,000 feet, but just a matter of if we're going to have enough moisture to squeeze out more snow as we head into the early morning hours tomorrow. So leaving that in the forecast, I do want to mention temperatures uh, earlier today, 57 degrees, 73 in the average. Ignore that. Uh, it looks like that was a little mistake there. Over the next 24 hours, you'll see 40s, 50s and 60s by the afternoon hours. So partly cloudy. We're calling it dry, but remember we are keeping that chance of a raindrop or two in the overnight hours. Temperatures tomorrow, a little warmer than today. 50s, a few 60s out there. 61 in Santa Monica, 63 in downtown Palmdale, 55 and Woodland Hills. You're getting up to 65 degrees. We're expecting a completely different forecast number wise as we head into Sunday and next week. We've got some very warm numbers to talk about, so we're going to have that extended forecast coming up in just a bit. Lena, back to you. All right, Evan. Sure. I don't know if you've ever tried that, Rick. Well, you probably haven't. <laughs> it it, it, it there. requires a lot of strength, well, actually, and it's skill. Mm -hmm. there, there is absolutely nothing to be gained for me to say anything about that. <laughs> Evelyn? <laughs> No comment. <laughs> it's well, tough. It's tough. From Rick, no that, that comment. Can't be nothing out loud anyway. <laughs> Does that mean that's what you do in your spare time? Mm. Oh. <laughs> Who would have thought? All right. Uh, let's move on. How about that? Sure. <laughs> Look at, is that okay? Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll get to the forecast because you're probably wondering, well, what's the weekend going to look like? Because it's been so wet, so cold, so windy out there. Will that change? Well, it's changing right now. It's a little drier out there. We're looking at a bit of cloud cover and we're looking at a few people out and about on the pier this evening. As we get a look at radar, you're going to see a little bit of snow over the mountains there and of course a little bit of leftover rain as well. And that's going to continue to be the case into the overnight hours. A closer look at the snow right there and the rain, a little bit of rain snow mix as well. So we're still dealing with that over our local mountains, over the San Bernardino County Mountains, Riverside County Mountains as well and LA County Mountains still expecting to get maybe a bit more snow into the overnight hours. Looking at pretty dry conditions through Grapevine at the moment, but looks like there is a little bit of, well, snow starting to make its way in as we head into the next few hours. So we're not ruling out the chance of maybe a drop of rain and certainly not ruling out the chance of snow flurries into the early morning hours. We're still under a winter storm warning. We're still looking at wind advisories and high wind warnings, and you'll see right here temperature wise quite cool 30s and 40s out there for you. And then you'll see right here 26 mile an hour sustained wind speeds for Gorman, 28 for San Pedro and 12 for downtown. Earlier today, well, rain totals looked like this. 
pretty impressive numbers. Palmdale, half an inch. Santa Ana, a little over half an inch. You'll see Northridge over an inch of rain. San Gabriel, just under an inch. Anaheim, also over three quarters of an inch right there. Downtown, you actually set a record, just under half an inch of rain, but that was record rainfall for today. Laguna Beach, over three quarters of an inch, over an inch in Redondo and Ontario, over half an inch of rain. So we're still technically on storm watch because, well, we're still looking at rain and snow out there. Still dealing with maybe a leftover flurry or two first thing in the morning. Rain totals, as we just mentioned, one to two inches in the lower elevations, up to three inches in the mountains once everything is said and done in the way of rain, in the way of snow, possibly over a foot of snow around resort level. Take a look right here, though. We're not talking rain or snow over the next few days. A little bit of cloud cover tomorrow, clearing out by Sunday, and a huge ridge of high pressure building over the area as we head toward the rest of your work week. And with that, upper 60s and 70s. You're going to see Tuesday and Wednesday plenty of sunshine with temperatures in the 70s. Getting a look at your next five day forecast, drying out, clearing out, warming up. More warming by Tuesday and mid 80s by the time we head into your Wednesday. And one more five day forecast for you this evening, and you're going to see right here, same pattern, maybe a snow shower tomorrow for the mountains. But after that, we're clearing out and we're warming up. We're expecting plenty of sunshine that should be lasting at least through your Wednesday. Lena and Rick, back to you. Well, that wind He's out cold. there, and yeah. you know, from being out there, you get so cold, it gets hard to speak and yeah. control your muscles. Jaw freezes up. Yeah. Right. Oh, cold stuff. Evelyn. <laughs> we, we've all been through it yeah. on the side of the yeah. road when I can't really talk, <laughs> <laughs> so we understand. Uh, we can empathize. But yeah, certainly we're looking at very cold conditions out there. We're looking Take a look at Running Springs. So Jeff Nguyen was uh, doing a live shot earlier, mm -hmm. and we just look at, watch out, Evelyn. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know what, when it shows like that on camera, it's really bad in person because it doesn't always translate uh -huh. on camera. Yeah, that's very true. Usually can barely even see the snow. Wow. Even if it's coming down pretty good, so you know it's coming down pretty good. Are <laughs> they right getting there. a lot tonight? Oh, yeah. We're yeah. talking maybe even close to a couple feet at resort level. So. Wow. The truck right there is spinning happening. out. You can see his tires spinning. Ooh. That white truck. Yeah, look at that. Bummer. Oh. Oh, this guy's is going to get it out. <laughs> all right. We could watch this all night. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. There he goes. Oh, push him. Oh, push him. You could give him a push. <laughs> you know, I don't think that's going to help. Uh, but it's it's wild out there. We're really looking at a lot of snow. We're going to continue to see the snow into the overnight hours. We're still looking at winter storm warnings. And really, it's. And dealing with weather of our own will last through the weekend. We'll have the details coming up. Evelyn's here now with a look at the forecast, mm -hmm. and uh, it seems like things probably calming down at this yeah. point. We're getting towards the end of this big storm. Absolutely. We're riding it out. There's still right. some snow out there, but we're sort of winding this, uh, down.